can make a Filipina feel intimidated. Don't be sibilant by doing s ah s s. Don't do that. It's like giving the stalker vibes. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're horny and I want you. So it's a big trouble. Yeah, big trouble indeed. Do you want to have trouble on the spot? It can really make a conversation even more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So, being a Filipino and if you're dating a Filipina is quite easy. Yeah, because there's no barrier, there's no awkwardness when yes. you approach a Filipina. Yeah, there's no major adjustment because you have the same nationality, comfortability is there, so you would never have the difficulties in approaching a Filipina if you're a Filipino. But what if, if we put ourselves in your shoes, guys? Yes. So what would be the scenario? Or how do you approach a Filipina? Yes, that's the main question, especially if it's your first time coming here and you never meet a Filipina yet. Right, for sure, that's the biggest question in yes. your mind. And you're thinking that, how can I approach them? Or how can I approach her without offending her? Or not get intimidated. Or not being awkward. Yeah, and now we have to talk about those things that you need to do and not to do. Yeah, so let's go with the don'ts first. Mm. So the don'ts is not to be proactive like being too much proactive can make a filipina feel intimidated they would really walk backwards instead of talking to you exactly so being proactive or being aggressive to a person especially to a filipina for sure they can say oh what happened to this person i don't know him why is he like this I don't want to talk to him. This is this, this really feels weird. Yeah. Uh, I should go go away away from him. Yeah, exactly. So why is he acting like that? We're not close. I don't even know him. I don't want to talk to him, especially there's a huge barrier between the language and you're talking in English. So she would already feel intimidated. And the worst part is you're too aggressive in approaching her. Yes. So you have to be nice. True, and be a gentleman. Right, it's very <laughs> important. You have to remember that. Not too aggressive or proactive to a person or to a Filipina. Yes, especially if the Filipina is shy and timid. Right, you know that already, <laughs> Filipinas are too shy. <laughs> True. Next is, don't be sibilant by doing s ah, s s that's really rude, guys, to a Filipina. Meaning to say you don't respect her. And that's stopping down to being like a bystander in anywhere. Right. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, and you don't know the person? Oh my God. Some Filipinas would really approach you and slap you in the face. Exactly. So the best thing that you need to do is to get closer to that Filipina and just stop her and ask if you have questions or you need something. So you just need to tap or say, hey, that's just normal. Okay. Not doing no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rude. It's really rude indeed. Next is winking. <laughs> so winking is not appropriate, guys. Don't do that. It's like giving the stalker vibes. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're horny and I want you. Yeah. It's like that. So you're flirting? Oh my god. Don't do that, guys. Because winking in the Philippines is different or has a different meaning, which means 
you are flirting to that person. Yes, and it's disgusting. It, you, <laughs> as a woman, it feels that disgusting feeling like, oh my god, this guy is winking at me. What the heck? It's like that. Is so, he horny? Yeah. <laughs> so it gives a big impact to you. So don't ever wink at someone, especially if that someone is doesn't know you. Exactly. And one thing that I need to add also is one thing that you need to avoid also, like giving your number to a Filipina, even though you don't know her. So don't do that, guys. Yes, it's not the same as foreign countries. If you like a woman, you would just give a paper with your phone number. It's not like that here, dude. Because you do not know that Filipina is married already or has a boyfriend. So it's a big trouble. Yeah, big trouble indeed. Do you want to have trouble on the spot? No. <laughs> of course, you need to avoid that, right? <laughs> yes, guys. So those are the don'ts that you have to remember. So when you come to the Philippines, now you have an idea what are those don'ts that you need to avoid. Yes. So next is the do's. Of course, you're really curious to know what are the do's in order to have a conversation with a Filipina, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the first one is, but before that, let's go ahead and ask Roger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you do in order for you to have a conversation with a Filipina since you're a pro at it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I did is just say hi in a polite way or greetings. It's very simple. Just say good morning or good afternoon, good evening. So after that, you can start a conversation. Yes, a simple greeting can give a long way, guys. It can give a good start for you yeah. and you need to be approachable too yeah. who would uh, who would want to talk to you if you have that scary face right you exactly. need to smile <laughs> yes humble face <laughs> polite face you know, you know that already guys. you give that aura guys that kind aura yes <laughs> next is learn the basic language of course if you're a foreigner and you would try to talk in our language that gives attention to a filipina yeah. especially if you try to joke around in our language agree and they're really interested to know you more yes. because why do you know this language? Why do you know our language? Can we talk? How many years have you been here? It's like that. You remember that. <laughs> yes, and it can really make a conversation even more interesting. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Next is, and the most basic way to start a conversation is to ask for directions. Ah, you don't need to be a pro to do that. <laughs> it's an alibi. <laughs> it's an alibi. Oh, can you can you tell me where to find here? Are you from here? Oh, how many years have you been here? <laughs> do you know this direction? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do they serve good coffee? What is the best menu there? Right. What will be the perfect food for me? Yeah. Correct. So, do you know this restaurant? <laughs> yes. Have you been there? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's have coffee there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to really know a Filipina. It's really up to you what will be the perfect questions to ask. Yes. Next is compliment. Complimenting a Filipina, not only a Filipina, but all women around the world, wants to really hear those sweet, sweet words. words. Uh. Yes. Words can really Melt. get our attention. Mm. Melt your attention. Yes, of course. By saying, oh, you have really nice hair. Have you been treating that well? Or is that genetic? Uh, yes, that's a good way to really tell her or try to start a conversation with her by telling, oh, you yes. have a good skin. You have a beautiful eyes. Yeah. You're beautiful today. Oh. Yes, you have an exotic beauty. No, <laughs> don't use an exotic word. <laughs> May get offended by those. You can just say, you are really beautiful. <laughs> yeah, don't use the word exotic, guys, because <laughs> the meaning of the word exotic here is different. <laughs> 
So meaning to say they're endangered species. <laughs> species. Yes. That's the uh, that's the meaning of exotic here. It's not the same as in the Wikipedia that exotic means one of a kind. Yeah. <laughs> here in the Philippines, if you use the word exotic, it's like you're endangered already. <laughs> So that's all guys and I hope that is really informative for you, for all of you and we hope that you're also entertained. Yes, of course. This is really important and you have to remember that guys. So thank you so much for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate. Just love. Bye. Bye.